This is between Declan Brennan and Dom Cooney. I'm joined on commentary by Aaron Davis. Good evening, Aaron. Yeah, cheers, Nick. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm very good, thanks. I'm very good. Um, this is... It should be a great game. There's, there's a couple of players who are, who are kind of ascending in form as the event's gone on. Both players have probably been struggling for a bit of form over the, over the last year, maybe even two years. And um, here they find themselves with a, a great chance to get into a final. Yeah, um, watched a little bit of Dom today and he looks very confident around the table. And obviously I watched a little bit of uh, Declan against uh, Tom Cousins as well. And yeah, he's... Um, I think did they, they both had bad first events, did they as well? I think. Yeah, or? yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah. Um, Deck went out to um, Christy Coalfield. I'm not sure about Dom, but uh, yeah, they didn't. Uh, they didn't trouble the scorecard, that's for sure. Um, and here we are, yeah, in a semi-final, and uh, should should be a cracker. Uh, Declan has got first dibs at the table. A little bit of work to do. Uh, he'll be very happy that he's got his hand on the table. So, interestingly, both of these players, they both had success in the first season. Declan Brenner hit the ground running. He won the very first event back in 2021. And Dom Cooney won the very last event in 2021. And since then, they haven't lifted a trophy. Well, they haven't lifted a trophy in the, in the, um, in the Pro Series. Yeah. Obviously, Declan's had success in the in the Masters, but uh, yeah, in, in Pro Series, so this will be important to both of them now, won't it? Yeah, of course it will. Um, especially at the start of the season as well. You always want to get the season off uh, as well as you can do, really, because it stands you in good stead. Um, yeah, and I think uh, it's not an. Oh, is, is he is he on this yellow? I think he is. Yeah, he can just get past. Just needs to drag it in. He's okay. Just may struggle to get close to the eight, so may have to just take his medicine and leave a longer eight ball. Or he could, he could screw back out. And uh, finishes just about perfect. Clinical first frame from Declan. Yeah, and going back to what you're saying about the a couple of seasons ago, I think at the time when Declan won that his first maybe event or two in, in that year we was all saying that he was probably the best player in the world at the time yeah, as well yeah he's found a piece um, with his game that's not been there before he said 18 months ago he was he was struggling he was beating himself up when he when he loses a, a match um, to a point now where he's quite settled in his in his home life and he's just enjoying life and he's taking every game as it comes. And if he loses, he loses. If he wins, great. But he doesn't, he's not setting those great big expectations on himself that maybe he had. And this is the result of that, I think. A great run this weekend. Yeah, it's a good point, actually. Um, I've, heard, I've heard a few people, you know, say when, when they have problems off the table, they do struggle to, to produce a result. And I think, you know, someone similar as well as that is probably Phil Harrison. Uh, he's been having a bad time over probably like maybe a year ago and yeah. you could tell that that was you know yeah. transferring to the table yeah. as well but yeah absolutely yeah that was um that was a miss it, it just went knuckle knuckle it wasn't a wasn't a pop out it just caught both the knuckles and came out so it's still a still a messy table so it's still an open table Deck choosing to go reds. A lot of work to do here though, Aaron. Yeah. The, the toughest ball being obviously the, the two reds on nearest to the left hand side of the table, the one that's slightly higher, it's gonna be a very tough ball to get on and even if he's gonna try and develop that it's if he's, even if he's going to develop, he's probably going to knock it to the left-hand side of the table, yeah. which really doesn't want to do. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see his plan. So this red pass is below the yellows, and then it's just a question of whether he decides that he's going to 
going to run into that red. I think he probably does, but he's got to get some pace in it to get it up the table so he can he can then take it in the middle. Yeah, and because he hit it with so much pace, it it threw the cue ball wide, and he missed the missed the ball. Yeah, and that was the reason it was a tough ball to develop because he obviously could have cannoned that there, but he was always knocking it to the left-hand side of the table if he did, and that's obviously why he hit it with so much power to try and hopefully bring it back into the centre of the table, but yeah. ended up missing it. And um, it's quite a factor on these tables, isn't it? The, 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 harder, you, the harder you hit them, the, the wider they throw. Especially with topspin as well, yeah. yeah. Um, playing with topspin, if, if you hit the ball, the, the white comes a lot wider than what you know you would normally expect. And he's in a spot of bother now. There is no pocket for that red. I think it's closest to... Well, there is a pocket, but near impossible to... To, to, to be able to land on it. Yeah, he tried to, tried to pull, a, pull a big shot, shot out of the out of the bag and screw down below the red, try and make something happen, but caught the eight ball on the way through and he's he can get through to the thin angle. He's gonna try for it in the middle, but that's a very, very low tower shot. That's all he's got. Oh, what an effort. Great effort. But, uh, he would have had no shot on the eight ball. And um, <laughs> as so often happens when you've just got one ball left on the table, Dom Cooney is literally just has no pressure on him whatsoever. He's, he can take as long as he wants over this one. Declan and also all kinds of bother while well, he just uh, makes sure he develops his balls into the position he wants them. So he's pushed those two yellows into a plant now, which they weren't a second ago. Good effort, but uh, had to just miss the ball to get through to the red. And now with ball in hand, he can just place it on the side exactly where he wants it. Yeah, I think with Declan pushing the eight ball over to the left-hand side of the table, it probably makes his first shot a little bit tougher because he's got a little bit more to do with the cue ball now and obviously playing this with pace makes it missable, but yeah. it's a good pot. Slightly hampered too. And uh, in, in playing that shot, he's developed the eight as well. Just brings it out to the open. It was a slightly tougher pot where it was on the cushion, so that makes, makes life a lot easier. And uh, should be playing sailing now. Don Cooney. Following this semi final, the second semi final will be between Sean Story and Luke Gilbert. So the two partners in crime, Luke Gilbert and Don Cooney, they could meet in the final. Team Blessed final. Oh, I know, I was thinking that earlier. I think. Um Probably from the last 16, I seen, I seen they was in opposite after the draw, and I thought, surely they can't meet in the final, but it's almost like destiny, isn't it? They would absolutely love that to happen. They are abs they're great mates, and um, they take the mickey out of each other. They're, they're called Team Bless because um, apparently Dom gets extremely lucky, um, and Luke's been tarred with the same brush now, and he, he hates it, so... It's, it's, it's a unique break. You don't really see anybody else use that break. As soon as you see somebody put a ball over on the left-hand side yeah, like that, course, yeah. you think it's a cut break, but it is, that's not the way he plays it. He still thunders it into that front ball. It's really effective. It definitely works for him. Yeah, and it's, it's not something he was starting to do uh, earlier on this week. It's something he's gone back to, yeah. I think, in, in this tournament, and obviously must be working for him because he's still doing it now. Oh, the thing is, Aaron, I mean, we, we've seen a few players really struggle with their break um, on this table, so it's great that he's found something he's adapted and, uh, and found something that's working for him. And look at the result of it. I mean, who can argue with it? A huge break. The Reds are just very inviting. 
a nice angle, so he just made sure he came just below the bulk line. Could have pretty much finished anywhere there, but he didn't didn't really want to be to be high because um, he's probably running into the yellows. This takes the, all of that out of the equation. He does need to play a decent positional shot here. Mm, that's no good. That really is horrible. It's just. Missed that positional shot by by some way, hasn't he? He has, yeah. Um, yeah, if he, if he landed if he landed well in this shot, the, the frame was over, and he, he can still get to the right hand side of the table, but this has to be pocket weight now, and really has to nip this in. It's a great recovery. That really is top draw. Very good. That shows a really deft touch playing that back into a, into a blind pocket and holding the cue ball as well. So much to that shot. and nudge, judged it well. Yeah, it's a very good recovery from a from a poor positional shot. He was it, it felt like he was conscious that he needed he knew he needed to leave an angle because he had to get over the right hand side. You couldn't be over the left and, and then just overcooked it. What a lineup this is. Jake Dylan Newlove will play Rab McCulloch and Govy Gill will play Joe Prince. Pick a winner from those four. Those semi finals are coming up at 8 p.m. this evening. I believe, I won't swear to it, but I believe that they're streamed over on table two and three. I haven't seen the schedule, so I don't know that for sure, but I'm pretty sure they are. And uh, obviously the Challenger tier two as well. They're at the, the same stage. The ladies uh, are playing their quarterfinals. Just saw an amazing performance from Emma Cunningham to beat Bar Barbara Taylor, as good as I've ever seen Emma play, I think. She's got Amy Amy Beauchamp in the, in the semi-final on that, so that's going to be, it's just, it's just great game after great game. So, dry break from Dom. That has come out very nicely. Yeah, I think he was a little bit fortunate there because he was trying to cannon the red and the yellow probably yeah. at the same time and in the end he hit the red on the rail full ball and to land where he has is a little bit fortunate. Yeah, yeah. Definitely agree with that. Oh, oh. Declan. I'm literally put the cue ball anywhere but there then. A little bit. Unforgivable that one. I should say anywhere on the table. That's. I mean, he'll be disgusted with that because this was a fantastic early opportunity to um, get out to a, a two-frame lead. It's so important to get one break against the serve, just stamp his authority on the match, and, and now he's just in a spot of bother. And, and Dom Cooney goes. Quite a big favourite in this frame if Declan can't find something here. Is he going to play a little controlled shot? Yeah, he tried to. He tried to play it. Uh, cushion first and pop the yellow into the right corner. But uh, what's done is give Dom a very presentable chance. Yellow, uh, sorry, red to the kind of direct left of the eight ball. I think that. That does pass, I think, into the um, into the bottom left. If it doesn't, he can play this red off the yellow to clear that pocket anyway, can't he? Yeah, I think it goes. Um, probably the only thing that could go wrong is maybe the eight ball, but as long as he's on a red to get on it, he should be fine. Maybe it didn't pass because he's played on the short side of it now and I think he's just about landed on it but a little bit thinner than he wanted. I'd say the cue ball's going to be okay here but maybe makes the pot a little bit more missable. Yeah, back in prime.
just needs to decide um, which red he's going to leave to the last now to get on the eight ball. Yeah, yeah, the eight ball, I mean, albeit it's, it's in the open and it, it looks simple enough, it doesn't pass to bottom left. And the two yellows are right in the path of the, um, uh, the line that you want to be on to pot it into the, into the bottom right. So it just needs that little bit of thought, doesn't it? It, it won't be a problem. It's, um, he can leave himself straight on the one to right centre and just screw back eight inches and just leave a cut. So if he screws back to about four inches in front of where he is, there you go, just just about there is perfect. Leave a half ball cut. And this really was a frame that got away from deck. Yeah, especially after how he brought the balls out. And then, like we said, I mean, anywhere but put the cue ball where he was snooker. And it's, got, it's got a hand in the pocket. His thumb will probably be in the pocket, using that as a grip. Straight into that front door, smash. Controls, I mean, for somebody who's coming at that angle into the balls, he controls that cue so well. Just didn't seem to get the explosion that time. I mean, the balls have shifted all over the table, but just didn't seem to, yeah, there's nothing really threatening the pockets. And uh, you just mentioned it. Yeah. It's that dry break that, that, uh, that Don would have wanted. And are those the, the pool gods playing their game and punishing Declan for that previous mistake. It's a nicely weighted shot. Just a question really whether the two the two yellows next to each other at the top of the table does one of them pass into the left corner? I think it does but um, certainly looks tight. Yeah, it's whether he can get to the potting angle of the one on the left hand side and um, with you it does look tight. If it does go, he might be able to cannon the yellow nearest to the centre of the table now and hold for that ball, which he's tried to do. It's a good shot. Yeah, must go. It must. So this is a golden chance. The issue now really would be again picking the picking the last ball to get on the eight. The eight is on its own at this end of the table. There's no link ball, so he's going to have to go from from top to bottom. Yeah, I mean, this possibly a bit straight here mm. because I was going to say it's still a, it's still a bit twitchy. He still has to get on that ball on the left hand side. And the red that's right next to the eight ball now is, is is a big blocker to that. Yeah, I think out of these four yellows, the, the ball he wouldn't have wanted to leave to the last is the one on the yeah, left rail. Absolutely. And unless he can stun up. And you see, this is why he, mm. even though he could have just played for the other yellow, he's really tried to get on the ball on the left hand side yeah. because he doesn't want to leave that as his last ball. No, no much trickier to, to, to get from that to the eight. So he's taking his medicine, he's going to take the harder ball. Well, he's not got far enough across for the harder ball, so he's going to have to... I mean, it's about as good as he could have left it. He's left a, a decent angle, but he's not going to get anywhere near this um, this eight, is he? He's going to... I mean, he, he can he can get decent on it, but it's, it's, going, to be a, it's going to be a bit of a tester on the eight for sure. Yeah, to be honest, that last shot he played as well as he could have done. Yeah. Oh, I think just overscrewed it though. But the worst thing you can do is not leave a shot on the eight ball. You've got to at least leave a shot on it. Do you think he got in into, into it too much, or maybe just quit on it a little I bit? I think he's just tried to get too close to it, and as yeah. you were saying, like you know, he couldn't really get too close to it. And obviously, the worst thing you can do is not leave a shot there. Yeah, it's going to be off the bottom cushion, and I think. There's no control about this one. You've got to get, you've got to get it moving. Give it some pace. Exactly like that. Has he? Oh my goodness <laughs> me! <laughs> well, the team blessed name would have um, would would have rung out loud if uh, if he finds that. <laughs> it's 
tracking towards the pocket, and then it looks like the yellow's going to kick it away. Uh, sorry, the red's going to kick it away, and somehow doesn't. Just misses it. If that dropped in, that I'm I'm, I'm going home. <laughs> but because it was dumb, I felt like it was going to go <laughs> <Yeah>. in though. <laughs> oh dear! But what a chance for Deck. Um, he's going to he's going to get away with that um, that try break. He will be absolutely over the moon. Again, a, a, a big momentum shift. Just needs to, obviously the eight ball hanging over the pocket, it restricts these two reds at the bottom of the table. So they both have to go um, to the left hand side. So he just needs to consider that as well. He needs to get across that side of the table. So he's going to have to leave an angle to get across there. So that's that's really what he's thinking about now. That's how he wants to, to play these last three. They're simple enough, but it's just about leaving the right angle. I think he'd be happy if he's um, if he's straight. Oh, he's gone across there now. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. I mean, he could have left himself straight on the one top corner and screwed back to this area, but I mean, it was just a question of um, of personal choice. Yeah, I think his plan originally would have been to play the, the two at the top of the table first and then come down, but as it happened, he just had the perfect angle yeah. after playing the shot down the rail to come down. So, yeah. But I think he's landed a little bit awkward here again, you know, possibly in and off into the centre, and that's what he's looking at now might be able to drop it in and just about hit the rail but so it's, uh, it's quite tight yeah and as soon as you start to jack up it increases the difficulty and now he's going to have to get that cue ball running off two cushions side cushion top and back out played it really well yeah it's a fantastic shot that because yeah. the pot was very missable there and yeah. still had to get the the right angle of the cue ball yeah yeah really good So, uh, Deck Brennan, he dry broke in that frame and I think he would have probably feared the worst. It's uh, a mistake from Don Cooney. He won't, it won't be panic stations. That was a great chance to break, uh, break the serve last one, but um, it, it's still on serve and uh, he's breaking well. There's another, another ball he's made and um, reds, do you think? Just given that yellow on the left-hand yeah. side cushion. Yeah, I think that the red goes to the left middle first shot, I think. Yeah, the one that's in bulk, I think, probably cuts back as well. But you're right, the one the one to left middle is the, the opener. Red balls in play. It's okay. The one to the left-hand side and the one up in bulk kind of link with each other, but you know it's not—it's not one of those absolute gimme frames, is it? You're not looking at this thinking to yourself, "Yeah, he's, he's definitely going to get these." He's, there's still a bit of work to be done. Yeah, and he possibly wants to get onto this ball on the left-hand side next shot. I'd probably play the the red into the right corner to swing round maybe after two rails but he did just point his key for maybe the one into the right centre after this. Yeah I can I can kind of get that as well because obviously it doesn't go to bottom right so if he doesn't if he doesn't land on it now how does he get on it and then he probably can only get on it from the ball that's in bulk so so now he can play this and, and stun across and He's got the one to the top left, and all three, as I say, all three of these kind of link with each other. So it's pretty good. He's done a lot of the hard work. Just needs to keep a tight cue ball. You could make a case for, for taking the one in the middle of the table now. He's screwing back across for the one on the left, but who's going to take it now? Yeah, nice. 
on the yellow. He's got a decent angle here as well, so we can just drop this in and hold for the. I think he might red. actually be a little bit thin, and if he is, um, he needs to run the cube off the right rail and between the red and the yellow, the yellow being below the red. He's just glanced it. Oh, and he's missed the no. pot as well. Yeah, you were right. That's a great spot. He was a little bit too thin. And if, if he finds the right angle, that finishes a formality. To be honest, I think if he would have potted the red, he would have found that gap as well. Um, I think it's just because he's missed the pot. Yeah, yeah. So another chance comes to Declan. And a couple of unforced errors now. I think we'll be seeing Declan try to play position for the skill shot. He's just tried to play for them, but he's just stuck to this yellow and he's got no shot now. <sighs> to be honest, he needs this to be touching ball. I'm not sure whoever it is, but if it's not touching ball, he's going to struggle to get safe as well. What he's trying to do there was just come past that yellow to land as straight as he could on the skill shot. But he's just ran into this and stuck on it. I'll tell you, there's, there's been a couple of um, unforced errors from, from both of the players in the match so far. And you, could, you could see a whole match and, and not see this many mistakes. That's a, that's a very clever little shot there. Yeah, a little tap on the table from Dom. I'm guessing he, um, I'm guessing that wasn't touching ball then because if it was touching ball he could have played that a lot softer and just nestled up to that yellow but yeah. the fact Dom, Dom's tapping the table, uh, it, it mustn't have been touching ball, he must have played that. Great shot, great recovery from Dom. I mean, it was, it was there. You know, it's what is one of those that you expect to get close, but still a very good shot. And these, bizarrely, these ones that are buried in the pocket, they're they're, they're harder to get position off than, than 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 a lot of other shots, aren't they? They're it's hard to control the pace of the cue ball and whether you're going to catch that knuckle. So uh, he played that really well. Yeah, and that's why we didn't see him just come off the side of that red there and try to bring the the white down the table off the top cushion because especially on a new cloth it's very hard to judge how that's going to bounce yeah the fact that I mean he's just screwed that straight straight back and judged the pace to perfection that was a, a, a lot tougher to, to to judge that than um than he's shown it was a reverse clearance from deck and timed it really well. Got good motion, mo good movement, but the balls just are not dropping. So many players struggling, and there's, they're trying all kinds of different breaks, but even even here, like exactly the same as his last break, he's, he's not troubled a pocket. He's not even caught a knuckle. And again, a bit of a messy table, isn't it? You know, what's the, what's the preference here, right? I think he's he's got to go for red. Um, the the two yellows in the the bottom left of the table I think are a bit too awkward and too far away from the other yellows, so he's got to go for a long red first. I think. Nice opener and uh, sets up sets up the clearance now. So um, yeah, I was with you. The reds, these two yellows, it's closest to now are causing a problem. So. Had to be reds. It was just going to be awkward getting on these. That, that opening pot just opened up the frame for him. Eight ball is the issue. Yeah, he gets it out now. He's he's going to come off the side rail with a cue ball back into the eight, and he leaves the ball at the bottom of the table. Lovely. Would like to get on the red, which is on the right hand side of the table next. But I think the cue ball might be a little bit close to the rail here to get the side spin he needs to get back over. 
So if the cue ball's a little bit further off the rail, he can get a little bit of screw on it and yeah. come back over, but he still tried it though. Yeah. It's a nice shot. Yeah. It's pretty much perfect there, I think, isn't he? Maybe maybe would have just liked a little angle, but I mean you can screw back to where the cue ball is now or yeah. you can screw back off the bottom cushion and back out to the middle of the table. Use the bottom cushion. And the great thing about that shot, there was no traffic there, so he could just let his cue arm go. Again, just needs to think about how he's going to get on the eight ball. The yellow is uh, below the red is a is a bit of a blocker. So the natural the natural line you'd use to get on the eight, so he just needs to avoid it. You can just top through. That's lovely. Great weight again. Just seems to have settled now, doesn't he? He's, he looks completely different from... I'm not saying he was nervy when he opened up, but he just seems... just really seems to be flowing around the table. He's upped his pace, upped his confidence. Should be fantastic. Wouldn't be surprised to see her lift this title. And uh, Don makes a ball. Job done. Let's have a look at this table. Well, I mean, it couldn't be any better. Definitely the <laughs> best break of the match. Yellows are an absolute, absolute joy. I'd have a chance at these, Aaron. You reckon? Oh, no. <laughs> Actually, no. Who am I kidding? What an opportunity now to go too clear. Tracked it in, controlled it well. Just a little bit straight, so he's probably just going to have to screw back off the side cushion. Just use. I think he's alright actually. I think he's got a little bit of an angle and. Stunned down, just, do you think? Yeah, just stunned down the middle of the table. Oh, no, you're right. Seeing these angles way better than I am today. <laughs> the one down the cushion should be absolutely fine. Just need to play it just confidently just to make sure you get the cue ball out. Yeah, just like that. Brilliant. This is a very confident Tom Cooney, and uh, he looks in charge. I believe it's eight, but please don't quote me on that. Oh, deck, it's not working from now. The pool gods have just left him high and dry. That was very unlucky. I mean, the, the cue ball, you, you always risk it. I mean, it, in fact, the cue, the, the cue ball was, was tracking up the middle of the table. I was doing was, him, yeah. doing him an injustice there because I, I was just about to say, you, you, if that that can happen when you push the cue ball towards the the, um, the the corner pockets, but it got a little flick and then got kicked in. Very, very unfortunate. Well, what an opportunity now this is for Dom Cooney to go on the hill. I have to say, you expect him to gobble this up. And he's on the yellow to um, to bottom right. So I think he'll definitely be taking that one now. It doesn't go to, uh, to left centre, so get it off the table. And then he goes back up to the top of the table. And then all four, uh, sorry, the other three balls link up quite nicely, don't they? If he if he finds the right angle, he's got corner, corner, middle, and then the gap between the two yellows, he's got the eight ball. Yeah, I think the the, the key thing he'll be thinking now is he doesn't want to leave the 
read into the centre as his last ball. He wants that to probably be his second last ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely agree with that. And the reason for that is because he would have to leave the right angle, whereas he's got a bit more margin for the for error if he yeah, leaves. Yeah, it's the yeah. hardest ball to get in the eight ball, yeah. basically. Yeah. So, and yeah. that's why he's playing for it now, and he's yeah. absolutely perfect, I think. Yeah. Just be careful with this because um, he is going to be screwing the cue ball back, and these are the type of shots if they are going to pop out, it could be these. Hopefully not. It is always in your mind, though, isn't it? And 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 because of that, he's, I think he's actually looking at surely not playing the red off the yellow. Surely I think he not. Is, you know. And is that simply because he's worried about the pop out? I don't know. I think I would probably more say it was because he had a bad angle to screw back. I would say I, I think maybe the screw back was too coming too close to the red and felt he had more room to land on the red this way. But he has come too far down the table now, and yeah, the eight ball doesn't go right corner. He's going to have to pull out a shot here. He's going to have to pull out a shot. So he's looking at a three cushion round the world side. You know. You know, he, he took the double instead and I don't blame him what a great shot it's a fantastic shot yeah I, I don't blame him because the angle he was looking was side cushion missed the yellow and then top cushion to miss the other yellow the and box. then side and back across and that was I was going to say hang on to your hats for that one um, yeah you don't you don't really want it to get uh, too close lot <sighs> time I have to say I mean I don't think that got kicked in but I mean, this this looks like, for me, it didn't look like it was going into the pocket. It's going to the cushion. Oh, maybe it just got a little flick off the back yeah. of the red, didn't it? I was going to say it always looks safe, and then, well, I guess that's one each. I mean, same thing happened to to deck in the last uh, in the last frame. So a lifeline, and uh, so fickle are these moments that, you know, realistically, the next time that Dom comes to the table, he could be. Could be six five and just one frame in it, and then the pressure really will be on. Moments like that can swing a match, and that's a great opening developing shot there from Deck. It is, yeah. Uh, did the right thing trying to get into these balls early on in the finish. The only question now, I'd say, is does the eight ball go into the right corner? It does look very tight. Yeah, I think no. But I think he can he can play this and go cushion first and just kind of tap into the back of it. It only needs a little nudge and it'll open it up. This will tell us now because, yeah. I mean, oh, and has he gone in off? No, he's, it's going to stay up. But I'm a little bit surprised about you, Aaron. It felt like he didn't need to hit it with that. Kind of, if he plays that as a control, goes cushion first and into the back of the air, he's got the red over the middle as his next ball. Possibly because he's uh, a couple of times in this match he's already stuck on balls and maybe that was in his head that yeah. he didn't want to do that again, maybe. Yeah. <sighs> Living on the edge. I, I think, think he's all right. Yeah. yeah, the one he's closest to. The one he's closest to is, um, I think it goes to top left, maybe even the one below the eight ball goes to the bottom right, I'm not sure. This definitely goes to top left. To a plant? I think so, yeah. Um, it's definitely not what he's played on, though, is he? He's played he for might the gap. have played. Well, uh, maybe maybe yeah. he did. It w wasn't an easy positional shot to judge, so. Yeah, it's true. Oh, dear. He's going to be fuming. You can see, I mean, he's. This is a couple. I mean, what? three times he's done something like this now yeah yeah and if he does end up losing this match now he'll be he'll be pretty disappointed and if he can clear his mind then he should go close on this red mm. yeah it's not even a it's not even a second prize with the, the red 
get on top of those yellows because it should be fairly easy for Dom. I think uh, he, he's got the choice here. He can try and bump it or he can he can play short position on it. Yeah, he can just land on it for the opposite middle. And um, this could be the game. Yeah, and I think um, overall I'd say Dom's performance was... All right. Well, I still think you know he can he can do better, but what he has done well is he's you know he's punished the mistakes that Declan's made, and if he can take these out, he'll be uh, he'll be really happy. that <laughs> what can you say I mean that's the reason he's missed it he's played the shot with a lot of side spin to try and get the cue ball up the table but I think he'd have been better just, just stunning that maybe and the reason he's missed the pot with all the side spin on the ball that's a fantastic pop from that. That really is. That really is under extreme pressure. It starts with the break and making a ball, which he does. He makes two. Two reds. Wow. I mean, if if this red into the right centre is a, a comfortable pot, I mean, this might be the easiest finish I've ever seen in my life. Oh, maybe it isn't. Well, I mean, even the yellows are not bad, actually. I've not even looked at the yellows yet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, ditto for them, really. It's, uh, as we said, dot to dot finish. And uh, you think when Tom comes back to the table, there's just going to be one frame in it. And um, this is what we were talking about just just short 10 minutes ago. Of course, we're also in the 15-second clock, so that's adding another dimension. The players don't have a lot of time to think. They're going to have to start playing on their instincts a bit more. From this angle, that yellow doesn't look like it passes the red, does it? But it clearly does. Well, that is exactly what the doctor ordered. And... Uh, <laughs> Those poor gods that were punishing Declan earlier. Maybe they're going to punish Dom now. Yeah. I mean, if you look at the mistakes in the match, they're, they're, probably, they're probably about equal. I'd be interested to see a stat on the unforced errors. They're probably about even Stevens. dry not only does it look dry <laughs> it looks glorious for deck I mean I only got a fir first glance at it but I think the reds well, I think I was looking at the yellows actually the yellows look good I mean maybe maybe both suits again look really good but yeah yeah I mean you could you could definitely make a case for either here couldn't you I guess it's the two the two reds on the left hand side of the table that kind of Kind of make the choice for you. But yeah, I wouldn't have been at all surprised to see him go reds. Again, just needs to hold it together. In some ways, bizarrely, when you're on a clearance like this, that 15 second shot clock can, can, can sometimes be an advantage because you don't have time to overthink it. You're playing more on instincts. And, and if there is any pressure, you don't have really time to feel it. Yeah, I agree with what you're saying. I think, you know, when there's not a shot clock on the match and you're on a, you're on a big finish, how many times do you see people, you know, walk around the table just to, like, just for, like, potting a long ball? Or, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah. yeah. But, yeah, in the 15 seconds of shot, you don't really have time to think about what can go wrong. Very nice. Well, this is exactly what Declan Brennan needed. 
and somehow this game has found its way to a hill hill six frames each and in all honesty on balance it's probably about right isn't it I'd say so yeah yeah well let's have a look at this table you can see what he thinks about it I think um, there's work to be done I think at first glance it might not have been as bad as it looked. Maybe the opening pot is a little tricky if he wants to go reds. But he has gone yellows. Yeah, so the obvious issue being the yellow and the red tied up in the middle of the table. That's going to need some attention. He's going to have to develop that position. Yeah, I didn't quite get a chance to look if he could have potted a red there first because if he could have gone reds, I mean, there was a lot more options to get into that bad area, whereas the yellows doesn't really have an obvious ball to cannon this bad yellow out. Yeah, well, I think he's going to try and do it now, is he? But but he's yeah. not guaranteed. It's not guaranteed to be on anything. Not guaranteed to be on anything. He's missed the ball. Well, wouldn't you know it? Just one more mistake to add to the pile, and um, Dom Cooney comes to the comes to the table, and one of his problem balls has already been sorted by Declan. He still has one issue which he's now dealt with. I was about to talk about that ball that's just covered by the eight, but now he's opened up that. The yellow landing over the pocket to the top left um, just makes things a little bit more awkward. Yeah, I think he's probably got to play the plant to the left middle now and I'm not 100% sure what his next ball is. Possibly the one which is nearest to the centre of the table. Yeah, and he is on that ball now, so it'll be a slight screw back for the yellow left centre to try and leave an angle to then play the red nearest to the bot line. I think he's perfect there as well, so just coming round to see where he wants to be. Wouldn't you know it, Dom Cooney just needs to hold himself together. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> Holy moly! That is incredible. I mean, that just tells the tale of the entire match, doesn't it? Wow. Honestly, I would have. I mean, that was, it was match ball, wasn't it? Because yeah, it was, because yeah. the last two were just that simple. It was match ball, and that just simply comes down to pressure. Of course it does. Yeah, and it's, I mean that's it's a horrible way to lose. Oh, he'll be absolutely distraught, absolutely fuming, and you have to feel for him. Wow, what a win from Deck Brennan. I don't think he'll quite be able to believe that uh, he's in the final, but in the final he is, and he needs to now go away and recompose.